Well, thank you for staying with us on the program this morning on ITV. Lovely Wednesday morning. And we'll continue with our conversations now. Uh, hopefully, in the next um, uh, 21 minutes or so, we'll be linking up with our booth studio for more conversations on TMI Wednesday. But now, we've got um, with us here a veteran journalist and public affairs commentator and politician, Usaze Jeswabo. Thank you for coming on the program. Yeah, good morning, viewers. Thank okay. you very much. Okay, a whole lot has been happening <laughs> on uh, the harmonization uh, for members of the PDP, particularly at the leadership level in Edo State. And in, in recent <coughs> times, we've seen uh, contrary views and opinions coming forward. We've also seen uh, some new factions emerging. Uh, where is all of this headed? We really don't know. But uh, maybe if we look at the genesis to give us a guide as to where we are right now and where we are going. Let me thank you again for coming on the program. Thank you. So, what, what, I mean, you, you have <coughs> followed up on this issue uh, both as um, as as a as, as a party man uh, in recent times. Where is this coming from? I mean, one would expect that the PDP haven't been in limbo for a while, and now they have the opportunity to be in government. They will do the needful to um, bridge all gaps and then form that formidable front to ensure that development is brought to the people of Edo State. So where is all of this coming from? <coughs> Excuse me. You see, the problem with us in PDP, because I'm a PDP member, the problem with us is that for 12 years, we have been in opposition. Mm. And it appears we, we are used to being in opposition. <laughs> so having gotten the governorship, many of our members still see themselves as opposition members. Mm. So now you are having a situation where there is opposition within the party. Okay. So PDP members are now playing the role that APC ought to be playing mm. that is opposing the government. We need to get out of that opposition syndrome and realize that we are now in government. For 12 years, we struggled to take over government. Even with the, pol the political guru, the late chief, Aneni, it was not possible. So when this opportunity now came, a lot of us jumped at it. But many did not still actually appreciate what it takes to be in government. Probably because 12 years ago, when PDP was 12, 13 years ago, when PDP was in government, they probably had not entered politics by then. So they don't know the advantage of being in government and the disadvantage of being outside of government. Mm. So that is what we are having now. Our members now need to realize the fact that there cannot be opposition inside government. The opposition should come from outside. And APC should be doing that in the state, not PDP members. Okay. And that is the stand of many of us. Okay. Um, mm. they, they, they say the crux of the matter is that why you have those who have been in the PDP, yes. you have those who moved from the APC to join the PDP before the uh, last uh, governorship election mm -hmm. and now many of those who came to join who came with the governor are saying I mean are we just going to continue to sit on the fence and watch and in any case I believe from the PDP perspective the governor is the leader of the party the president if it were a situation where you had the PDP at the center the president is the national leader of the or the, I mean is the leader of the party so how, how do you th how do you see this uh, dichotomy existing within the pdp in the state at the moment well first of all let's get one fact clear many of those who came with the governor from apc many of them were originally in in pdp but in 2003 when pdp was doing Regi fresh registration. Mm. Many of us who were in Chief Lucky Minadion's government were deliberately excluded from the registration that was being done. 
we were not given membership cards. And that is what gave rise to Grace Group, okay. which, led, which gave rise to ACD and gave rise to AC before ACN. It is at ACN that I can stop. Because I was in Grace Group, I was in Ibinadion's chief lock, Ibinadion's government. We formed the Grace Group and we moved over, over became ACD, we became AC, and we became ACN. So many of those who are coming back now are actually former members of PDP. That we should recognize. I haven't come back when they were coming back, or, or, or as has been the practice. Yeah. Once you join a party, you are accepted as a full member of the party, no, no matter the, the circumstances. I left ACN in 2012 because I was not satisfied with the way the Congress governor was running the government and running the party. And I came back to PDP. And ever since I have been in PDP. So many of those who are coming now are, in fact, many of them are original members of PDP. So having come to back to PDP with the governor, mm -hmm. it, should, it is expected that they should be accepted and accepted 100 percent. There are many of them too who have ambitions and uh, who feel that they or who believed that they were coming to take over PDP, probably because they have made money, haven't been in government for 12 years and those things. But those ones too are not the serious type. You have come to join a group fuse into the group and when there's anything in the group you you participate okay that is what many of us stand for how do you participate if you're not invited i mean if you have uh <coughs> served a different capacity capacity in the state and one also recognize the fact that you have made contributions in the state now you have come back supposedly to your former party yes now here you are meetings are being held decisions are being taken you are not being uh, uh, called upon. You are not, your opinion is not being sought. Is that not total alienation? You see, that is <laughs> that problem is not that problem is not restricted to APC members coming in. Okay. Those of us who are even in PDP, many of us are not invited to meetings because they felt that we did not support those who are who are in power now <laughs> at the party level. Okay. There was supposed to have been a Congress in, in 2020. What we had was not actually a, a Congress the way Congress would well, have been. Well, anyhow, a leadership has emerged. Yes, a leadership has emerged. Yes. And what we expected from that le leadership is that before that Congress, there were different camps. Mm -hmm. Having gotten the positions, having won above the other camps, what we expected of them is that you you bring you bring those who were in the other camps to, you bring them together and try and uh, try and harmonize or, or try and give them a sense of belonging but what we had in pdp was that those who won just believe that those who lost out can go to hell. so it's the case of a winner takes it all it was a case of the winner takes it all and that is why many people went to court mm. if you are as you are aware there were many court cases against that congress at various levels okay but the coming of obaseki made many of them to 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 pipe to pipe down and the cases are seen because they've not been withdrawn but it has been series of adjournments they are still looking they are still trying to see height so if those if those of us who were in pdp who were not in in the winning group are still being treated the way we are treated then you can imagine what those who are coming in should expect. Mm. What I expect the leadership of the PDP from the world to the state level, what I expect them to do is call everybody. There are many aggrieved PDP members, not APC members who are coming in now. There are many aggrieved PDP members who are just at home and watching what is happening. And those ones is dangerous because by the time the aggrieved members now decide to team up with with the governor's group which as far as i'm concerned i don't even know if there's a governor's group i know what i know we have in in a dual state is pdp mm. whether you are coming in or you are or you have been there you, we are all pdp we all hold pdp mem membership cards that is for those who have been issued with membership cards okay so what i expect is the executive to bring everybody to a round table and say these are the issues this are how do we solve 
this issue. Okay, now, I'm now, not I'm not antagonizing anybody. Yeah. Uh, how do you how do you what do you make of what is happening now in some of the local government chapters of the PDP? Um, you have parallel executives. You hear so so and so has been suspended. Um, this person is now the acting chairman, acting secretary, acting leader of the party. And then tomorrow, the subsisting leadership of the party at that local government comes up to say, look, uh, what those guys have done is null and void. In fact, I saw recently uh, a press release by the state publicity secretary condemning the action of one of the local government chapter of the PDP. What does all of this portend for the party at the moment? You see, the fact is, uh, in a democracy that is growing, you should expect you should expect this type of thing. Mm. The suspensions and the, the suspensions and the, when the governor came, the governor made it you know, told everybody go to your wards, go to your local governments, go to the state and harmonize. Attempts were made in some local governments to harmonize. I'm aware that some local governments have harmonized. Some have harmonized. Yes. Okay. I'm aware that some local governments have harmonized. Attempts were made at the state, at the at the world levels to also do, and then at, uh, at the state level. But you see, the problems we are having is that there are some people at the world level who see, them, who see themselves as, as mini gods. So they just believe in, when I have said it, that is how it should be. So the problem of harmonization is even more at the world level than at the, at the local government and state level. Because politicians, they say politics is local. So those people at the local level, they are people that, that are just too fanatical. Once they take a stand, they don't want it. And it is either you are for them or you are against them. Mm. But I think the solution out of this thing is harmonization. What is your definition of harmonization? How, how do you think this harmonization can be, talk, can be done and everybody will be happy at, at, at the end of the day? Because there's mutual suspicion. Um, I heard the, um, some comments recently that, well, uh, the governor wants to sack the present ESCO <coughs> of the party, and that seems to have been the source of the friction. I don't know what you make of it. What is your ideal way of harmonization? Yeah, let me tell you. The governor, by our constitution, is the leader of the party in the state. Okay. Before, during the time of NPN, the state chairman, was the leader of the party. I remember when I went for a course at the Nigerian Institute of Journalism in 1979. The late Dr. Onogorua, the veteran, uh, um, veteran journalist and uh, accomplished lawyer, told us one day that we are going to attend a meeting in the evening and that our test for that week was going to be our write-up on our observations at the meeting. We went to the meeting. It was a PDP, it was an NPN National Executive Council meeting. And what arrangement did we see? The high table had just three chairs. And on those three chairs, you had the chairman, Akin Loye, the, the, the vice chairman, then it was vice chairman. This zone, this zone has not been introduced. The vice chairman, and then the secretary then, Takuma Suleiman or something. Those were the three people who were on the high table. The president, the vice president, Shagari Ekweme, the ministers and the other people, they were all seated opposite the high table. That was showing hierarchy mm. that the, the chairman is the leader of, the, of party. the party. Of course, the president sat in the, in the front row. In government, the president is the leader. But at the party level then, the chairman was fully in control. And they made it very clear by the sitting arrangement at that meeting. We wrote on it. But in 1999, when this republic came, everything changed with the PDP constitution. The president became the leader of the party at the national level and the governors at the state uh, level. At the state level, then at the local level, local government chairman. Chair. That is what changed it. But you see, having made the governor the leader of the party, 
he should be respected. The respect should be mutual, should be mutual okay. between the governor and the state chairman of the party, and not any other person. But what we are seeing now is that there are people who feel that they can sit back and remote the way the party is being done. The governor came. We all remember that the, the day the governor was to take his membership card, the, 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 local, government chair, the local government chairman of Uredo was not found to sign. I mean, his ward chairman, no, not local government. The ward chairman was not found to sign his membership card. He had to go to another ward to get, they had to get another chairman to sign his membership that was the first sign of hostility. That was the first sign. And for a governor having that type of experience, you will not expect him to just sit idle. We all know that in all states, it is the governor that funds the party majorly. And if the governor is funding the party as the leader of the party, he should take control. He should work in harmony with the chairman. But in a those state, we have a group that feels that they should be in charge. And Many people are saying no. Yes, the, the ESCO has been constituted. And, but we should also remember that last year, in the South South, mm. there was a vice chairman yeah. who, who was there. And the vice chairman was made to step down for another person, yeah. for the interest of peace in Edo State. Okay. The person who, who the vice chairman stepped down for did not go for Congress. But it was, it, it was done out of, out of the doctrine of necessity. Mm -hmm. And these people haven't come. I would have expected that. They will sit down and say, OK, the governor, you have come. Thank you very much. We have held, we have held congresses before you came. But to give you a sense of belonging, let us try and harmonize. I don't see anything wrong if, if they sit down and say, OK, the, the structure that is on ground, let the, let the party, let the old PDP take 60%. Okay. And those coming with the governor take 40%. Okay. Those that will be displaced, they can be taken care of in other ways. There are a lot of appointments, there are boss and there are these things. Like I was telling somebody the other day, you are a world secretary. You are making all the noise. What do you benefit? The, the little that trickles down to you, your chairman, if your chairman is magnanimous enough, he will uh, he get will you involved. Be, he will get you involved. <laughs> but supposing you, you get a government appointment yes. where you are receiving 80,000, 90, 100,000 every month, will you not prefer that appointment to holding an office where you are just there? You don't have. We all know where, at, at the level, these party structures. A beneficial. A beneficial. Mm. I was a state secretary of the defunct APP. Mm. So I know what party structure is, is all about. Okay. And by the time I discussed with the, with the young man, he said that, hey, pa, you have said the truth. Though. So my own, was, my own thinking was that they will sit down and say, okay, we will give you 40% of positions. We will take 60%. Then they will now also work, work out what percentage they will get in the government okay. and what percentage those coming with the gov government will get. get. Yes, and everybody will go home happy. But we, but we saw a situation where when the issue of, uh, of, of harmonization came, they just misinterpreted it to mean blanket dissolution of the ESCO. And if you look at it actually, how many people make up the ESCO? There are more PDP members who are against the structure on Ghana than those who are supporting it. Mm. PDP, <clears throat> and that is the, the problem we are facing now. When the governor was coming, PDP did not sit down as a group to negotiate with the governor. They were all after their selfish interest. Yeah, but you may not be absolutely correct on no, this. No, listen, that listen. They, they are all after their selfish interest. Let me, I mean, yeah. let me tell yeah, you. Yeah. There were two groups or three groups that we were discussing with the governor that I know. There was the group that wanted governorship back by all means. Mm. That group was discussing with the governor from one angle. There was the group that felt that if the governor had not come, they would have produced the governorship candidates. Candidate. 
and that group was resisting his coming his coming mm. but along the road they were able to arrive at a co at a compromise, compromise after the meeting they had in Port Harcourt okay. and, and the series of meetings they had here in which many of the governors of Kowa and all attended. But even in, in arriving at that compromise, there was no spelled out agreement. That is to say, you are coming with the, you are coming as the governor, mm -hmm. your deputy is running with you. Okay. These are the positions you will give to PDP. They didn't. So it, it was more of let's get power first. It was more of that. let's get power. Is that what's haunting the party now? That is exactly what mm. is haunting the party mm. now. Because you cannot you cannot change the rules of the game. In the middle of the game. In the middle of the game. You did not at the initial stage say we wanted the deputy governorship. You did not. In Sokoto State, Tambuwa was told by 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 the, the PDP on ground that PDP had to produce the deputy. And that was the agreement there. In Benue State, the group that came with Autumn and the PDP there, they sat down and they shared out positions. Okay. Governor, okay, run with your deputy. But these are the positions we are going to get. That is what that is how PDP got the the PDP that was there got some of the the senatorial seats and the uh, and the house of reps seats and all those things okay. there was an agreement okay. that was that was sat down and that they sat down and mm -hmm. agreed on yeah. but in those days there was none because many people didn't want the governor to come many people wanted the governor to come by all means so okay. the two groups could not arrive at a compromise and discuss with the governor okay. so they were thinking that after the election all this thing, but you don't sort out it. So do, do, you see, do you see this coming to an end anytime soon, as we call it a wrap now? Well, I pray it comes to an end. The leadership of the party still has a lot of role to play. But this issue of suspending and non-suspending is uncalled for. Okay. You, cannot, you cannot in a do not say you are suspending somebody like Dupesi in Esako, in Esako East, when we all know that. When, when we all know the contribution that Dupesi makes to, to, uh, to the party. To the party. Mm. Michael Jadome, yes, granted that at a stage he, he became uh, no, he was no more interested so much in the activities of the party because of the politics that was being played in, in, a do, in a Esako Central, which we all know. Some people wanted to be the laws, so they had to marginalize every other person. For somebody who was the deputy governor, for somebody who was the chief of staff, they will be holding meeting in a docent in the Esako Central, he will not be invited. I mean. And then and then then a do central, Ikimi, yes, Ikimi is a rule cannot be be ruled out because my own standard has always been that Ikimi actually should should retire from politics. He has been, he's of the old stock. Mm. But he should not be disgraced out okay. the way they are doing it. Okay. When those suspensions, when those suspensions in in a in a, in a do central, Igweben, in a do central and a do not when they were being done, the states the state executive did not say anything. The state publicity secretary did not say anything. But when it now happened in a go where the man they supported was removed, they came up with a press release. I, I mean, many of us found that the press release. It's just, okay. that, it's just that many of us, we just feel that let us not rock the boat. Okay. Not, I personally would have challenged that press release. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Usaza Jesuobo, uh, okay. veteran journalist, member of the PDP, giving us his perspectives on the uh, crisis rocking the party in the state as it relates to harmonization. What is of the opinion that uh, perhaps the old PDP, as they are called, should take 60%, and then the new PDP, 40%. That could be a starting point. But what is most important that is that uh, the PDP needs to really put their acts together and nip this uh, Bajanian problem in the bud so it doesn't snowball into something that the party will regret uh, ultimately. Thank you again for coming on the program. Thank you.